Let's take back the kingdom. Now. Like we shall do everything. Together. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 actors who fell in love on set. I'm impressed. Well, I'm in love. <sighs> so why'd you finally say yes to me? Uh, Christina, this is Margalena. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable love stories between actors who began their relationship on the set of a film, TV show, or even a play. The couples don't have to have stayed together forever. And sorry Ashton and Mila shippers, we'll be excluding couples who got together after the project had finished. What's your favorite on-screen romance that spilled over into real life? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Vanessa Hutchins and Zac Efron – High School Musical This could be the start of something new While High School Musical was already the Disney Channel original movie to end all Disney Channel original movies, this off-screen relationship really put it over the top for fans. Zac Efron and Vanessa Hutchins met on the set of the first film in 2005. Ironically, their characters Troy Bolton and Gabriela Montez were also romantically involved. Although there are conflicting reports as to when the actors started dating, the early sparks of their chemistry were evident in their scenes together. The two kept dating after High School Musical 3. Although they broke up in 2010, they remained friends through the split. Number 19. Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse – Riverdale I love you. Cooper. Riverdale is one of those shows where we'd be shocked if there wasn't behind-the-scenes coupling. We could have highlighted Camila Mendez and Charles Melton, who played Veronica Lodge and Reggie Mantle on the show. But how could we not stick with Betty and Jughead themselves? Played respectively by Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse, the two began dating the same year the show debuted in 2017. This makes us think that Bughead's first on-screen kiss had something to do with this real relationship. What? Although both actors remained slated to appear in Season 5, they did confirm they'd split in March 2020. I should probably start heading home. Where you could stay. Sprouse sweetly wished Reinhardt, quote, nothing but the utmost love and happiness moving forward. Number 18. Jenna Dewan and Channing Tatum – Step Up I asked you to bring tights. Do I look like I own tights? As cliché as their meeting and subsequent story might have been, we couldn't help but root for this couple that fell in love on the set of a romance film. After hooking up once Step Up had wrapped, Jenna and Channing have since shown the world that they not only can act, but also have some awesome dance moves. The pair married in Malibu, California in 2009 and had a daughter four years later, as well as many lovey-dovey, sweet and cheesy moments that the media couldn't get enough of. They separated in 2018 and divorced the following year, but continued to support each other, describing themselves as, quote, two best friends realizing it's time to take some space. Number 17. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth – The Last Song Is there any relationship saga with more ups and downs than that of Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth? Their rocky love story began on the set of The Last Song in 2009. The film is an adaptation of the romantic Nicholas Sparks novel. You and I both know this is not my fault. It's Although the movie received negative reviews, it was swoon-inducing to watch Cyrus and Hemsworth's real-life love blossom on screen. The pair was an on-and-off-again couple after that point. I'm not gonna stand to be near you. Please, please stop. Don't no. touch me. Will! Don't touch me. They went from being engaged in 2012, to splitting in 2013, to being engaged again in 2016, to actually tying the knot in 2018, to splitting again just eight months later. I think young people have a different um, idea of partnering and not feeling that this necessarily means this is going to have a legal document signed and dated. Their love saga is like a Nicholas Sparks novel itself. Number 16. Courtney Cox and David Arquette Scream. You look awfully young to be a police officer. I'm 25 years old. It was less screams and more sparks on the set of the hit slasher flick in which these two actors met in the mid-90s. 
After tying the knot in 1999, they appeared in many films together, including 1999's thriller The Runner, 2001's romantic comedy The Shrink Is In, and 2006's horror The Tripper. Though enjoying career successes during their marriage, such as Cox's Golden Globe nomination for Cougar Town, the pair frequently went to couples therapy and ended up separating in 2010. I'm on a sexual deadline here! Hey, Carol, please do me a solid and blow on that stick. That stuff is crazy hot. They divorced a few years later, although they say they still care about each other very much. Number 15. Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise – Days of Thunder For much of the 90s, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman were the it couple in Hollywood. How can I be in bed with this guy? I know the answer to that one. Maybe, but you're still asking it. They met in 1989 during the filming of the racing drama Days of Thunder and were married on Christmas Eve of the next year. I wasn't ignoring you. Since he was one of the biggest stars on the planet and her star rose quickly soon after, the film industry was quick to cast them together again. They teamed up for the epic romance Far and Away. I The would-be Oscar hopeful film was certainly elevated by their powerful chemistry, but their relationship ended after they worked together on Eyes Wide Shut in 1999. There is something very important that we need to do as soon as possible. What's that? The couple, who had adopted two children together, divorced in 2001. Their breakup ended one of the great Hollywood love stories. Number 14. Nicole Ari Parker and Boris Kojo – Soul Food So why did you finally say yes to me? Oh, you mean besides the fact that you called me six times and left your phone number on every package she delivered? <laughs> These two lovebirds met while shooting the Showtime drama Soul Food. The series was a continuation of the 1997 film of the same name, albeit with a different cast. As it turns out, that casting led to Parker and Kojo playing lovers. Their fictional relationship extended to the real world. The couple tied the knot in 2005, just two months after the arrival of their first child. Fans of the pair can also watch them together in the 2002 rom-com Brown Sugar, although they date other characters. The longtime couple also tore up the stage in 2019 on Lip Sync Battle. Number 13. Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck – Daredevil I don't like being touched. <clears throat> Why don't you tell me what you do like? We'll start there. Called America's Sweetest Couple in their heyday, this good-looking pair first met on the set of their 2001 film Pearl Harbor. However, for the next few years, Affleck was busy dating his Gigli co-star J.Lo instead. It wasn't until their superhero outing Daredevil that Affleck and Garner saw each other in a new light. Must have been those banging costumes. I don't want to lose you again. <laughs> They made their relationship public in 2004 at a World Series baseball game and jumped the broom a year later in an exotic Caribbean wedding. Ten years and three children later, however, the couple separated and finalized their divorce in 2018. Affleck has since gone on to date his Deep Water co-star Ana de Armas. Number 12. Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds – Green Lantern Do you think I'm irresponsible? <laughs> You may not have been able to tell from their first public appearance together at Comic-Con as the leads in Green Lantern, but this pair of gorgeous thespians seems to have been destined for each other. The Canadian stud and Gossip Girl actress hit it off after their respective breakups to Scarlett Johansson and Penn Badgley, and were confirmed to be a couple in 2011. This led to a stylish wedding in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina the next year. They said that the ring wouldn't have chosen me if it didn't see something. Something I don't see. Yeah. I see. They have since had three daughters together and are still going strong. Number 11. Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem – Vicky Cristina Barcelona In Vicky Cristina Barcelona, Javier Bardem's Juan Antonio finds himself beset by gorgeous women. We'll eat well, we'll drink good wine, we'll make love. Yeah, who, who exactly is going to make love? Hopefully, the three of us. There was Vicky, played by Rebecca Hall, Christina, portrayed by Scarlett Johansson, and his unstable ex-wife Maria Elena, played by Penelope Cruz. And you know I always have your best interest. <laughs> well, and uh, not when you try to kill me. Bardem ultimately got together with Penelope Cruz in 2010 after three years of dating. They've since welcomed two children into the world, a son born in 2011 and a daughter born in 2013. He stole everything from me. His whole style. 
She likes to make up these stories. While they've acted together after this 2008 film, Vicky Cristina Barcelona wasn't their first film together. They actually starred in the 1992 Spanish romantic drama Jamón Jamón. Apparently, the Sparks only appeared the second time they worked together. Number 10. Katherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy, Woman of the Year. I had kind of an idea that it had something to do with being with you. Katherine Hepburn was arguably one of the most famous women of the century. It's fitting that her relationship with longtime partner Spencer Tracy was just as legendary. When Hepburn first met Tracy on the set of the romantic comedy Woman of the Year, she was wearing high heels. The actress allegedly told him, quote, I'm afraid I'm a bit tall for you, Mr. Tracy. But apparently, he overcame the height difference. Despite still being married, Tracy couldn't stay away from Hepburn. As she garnered rave reviews and even an Oscar nomination, he was at her side. Though the two never wed, they believed in Until Death Do They Part. Like it? Beautiful. It's uh, too high to reach. I'm not. Tracy passed away shortly after they both filmed Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And you'll have to agree that any two people who love each other that much deserve all the best luck in the world. Number 9. Deborah Lee Furness and Hugh Jackman, Corelli. These days, one can't help but be a little starstruck by Hugh Jackman. He became world famous after taking up the mantle of Wolverine in X-Men. However, his onset love story took place a good deal before he was a household name. Just take your time. I know it's Jackman appeared on the Australian prison drama Corelli for his second on-screen role. It was there that he met actress Deborah Lee Furness, who was playing a psychologist. While the series didn't last longer than 10 episodes, Jackman and Furness's union has been going strong since they met on set. Deborah Lee. Hi, wow. Nice to You're meet you. You're something. Huh? No. <laughs> How are you? They got married in 1996 when they were 28 and 40, respectively. After Furness had two miscarriages, the couple decided to adopt two children and have been going strong ever since. Number 8. Reese Witherspoon and Ryan Phillippe, Cruel Intentions Of all the sets to fall in love on, Cruel Intentions is a bit of a twisted one, but to each their own. Reese Witherspoon and Ryan Phillippe formally met at the former's 21st birthday party, but their relationship really progressed while they were filming Cruel Intentions. I'm impressed. I'm in love. In the film, Philippi played a sadistic manipulator named Sebastian who's tasked with romancing Witherspoon's chaste Annette. Even without knowing that the two married after the film was released, you can see genuine chemistry on screen when the couple's vitriol turns to affection. I, I love you, Annette. I love you too. Witherspoon and Philippi had two kids together before calling it quits in 2006. We suppose it really just wasn't meant to be for Annette and Sebastian. What's wrong? It's not you, it's me. Number 7. Jennifer Goodwin and Josh Dallas, Once Upon a Time. Charming. Yes. It's me. Once Upon a Time, there were two actors named Jennifer Goodwin and Josh Dallas who fell in love while filming a show called, um, Once Upon a Time. What I'm feeling? It's love. Mary Margaret. Their romance is something you would normally read in a storybook. Uh, storybook. <gasps> you found me. Goodwin played Snow White to Dallas's Prince Charming. After they both left serious relationships earlier in the year, the two began dating right around the time that the show first premiered in late 2011. Will you marry me? They married in 2014 and welcomed their first of two sons one month later. As you can see, lots happened. After wrapping the series in 2018, the two remained together. Kind of appropriate they would get a happily ever after. Number 6. Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, Swing Shift Although they first met during the filming of the one and only genuine original family band in 1968, the two only felt sparks during the filming of their second film together. It's your own life, you got a right to be happy. I can't. The romantic war drama had a story in which Han's lonely character falls in love with Lucky, a charming musician played by Russell. Since then, the couple has enjoyed well over 30 years together, during which time they've raised multiple children from different relationships, only one being their own. Well, I guess we're in it, huh? For the duration. 
Also starring together in Overboard in 1987, the couple has become a symbol of an enduring, happy, and successful Hollywood pair. You can be quite charming when you want to be. Nah, you just caught me on a bad day. Number 5. Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling – The Notebook if there was ever an on-screen relationship that we desperately wanted to work out in real life, it was this one. You want to come in? Okay. Though they reportedly couldn't stand each other and argued constantly during filming, things soon heated up in the good way for the cute pair after the end of production, starting in mid-2005. This led to two years of Rachel and Ryan dating and a fleeting reunion in 2008. Though it wasn't meant to last, and Gosling has since ended up with co-star Ava Mendes from 2012's The Place Beyond the Pines, we still look back fondly on the charming pair. What do you want? I have to go. Number 4. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, Cleopatra They were the super couple of the 1960s, and it all started on the set of the biggest and boldest epic of the time. Don't ask me to be clear about my feelings right now, I'm tired. And with you, even at my best, it's never easy to say my meaning." In a behind-the-scenes affair that rocked the world, the lovesick pair divorced their spouses after production and married each other in what would come to be the first of two marriages. Characterized by passion, conflict, luxury, and scandal, their relationship came to be the most media-covered of its time. When we first met in Rome, I remembered you, and I wondered that I could ever have forgotten. The couple starred in about a dozen movies together, including the classic 1966 drama Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I used to drink brandy. He used to drink Bergen, too. Shut up, Martha! Number 3. Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart – To Have and Have Not There was an age difference of 25 years when the young actress and screen icon met during the filming of their romantic adventure flick. And Bogart was already married. But the chemistry between the two was too strong to resist. There's a lot of people are just saving. They were married soon after, with their next film together being 1946's The Big Sleep. Will you get out of this and stay out if I let you go? No. Their chemistry continued to be obvious in films like 1947's Dark Passage and 1948's Key Largo, although their home life was a little less smooth. Nevertheless, they stayed together and in love until his death at age 57. Look. I'm tired and I want to get some sleep. That's not a bad idea. What made you so mad? I've been mad ever since I met you. Number 2. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, Mr. and Mrs. Smith They were the ultimate Hollywood supercouple, the decisive celebrity success story. They were Brangelina. <laughs> Sorry, huh? Okay. No, I got it. I got it. It all started when the two fell in love with each other on set, leading to Pitt's divorce from Jennifer Aniston and a relationship that became the picture of success and happiness. The pair ended up with six children and starred together in what would come to be their second and final romp as a married couple, 2015's By the Sea, one year before Jolie filed for divorce from Pitt. Citing irreconcilable differences, it was a move that shattered the world. I mean, listen, I'm not gonna lie to you, there were times I just wanted to kill her. But, uh, Likewise. couldn't take the shot. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Joanne Woodward and Paul Newman – The Long Hot Summer For much of their time together, Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward were widely known as Hollywood's golden couple. They definitely earned that moniker. You mean your friend would not like it if we went off together? The idea you and me just wouldn't go down, would it? Although Newman was already married when the two of them met, their courtship and subsequent partnership is nothing short of endearing. They became enamored with one another on the Broadway set of Picnic. But it wasn't until they co-starred in The Long Hot Summer years later that things moved forward. You put them things down, Miss Clara, because I'm going to kiss you. I'm going to show you how simple it is. They were initially apprehensive to get together because Woodward didn't want to be a homewrecker. But after Newman's wife agreed to a divorce, the lovebirds were married months later. They stayed together for the next 50 years. It seems that the long hot summer begat a long, happy marriage. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.